Hi guys. So in this video, I shall be sharing with you my SAP Labs internship experience, uh, the internship test experience. The test could be given by candidates who had a CGP of more than seven. And uh, the first round was a coding round. It happened on 7th October from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., one hour duration. Online coding round it was. And platform used was HackerRank. And we had to upload our CV also before giving the test. So the test comprised of two coding questions and 10 MCQs. First, let us discuss what, are, what were the coding questions. The coding questions were this. First one was a simple string problem. What I mean by that is basically we were given two strings, okay, S1 and S2. And we had to form another string S such that first character will be from S1, second will be from S2, third will be from S3, uh, S1, sorry. So alternative characters will be from the same string, S2, so on. If any string is completed, remaining characters will be simply attached to the end of the string S. So for example, if the string is uh, say van and uh, Maggie. Okay, so the answer will be V M, first V M A A N G this string is over, but this string has some characters. Simply append it. So this was this very, very simple question. See, I am telling it to you like this, but the question was worded differently. It was said some password is given, something else. All those things were there. But it was ultimately a very simple string problem. And only this you had to do. Anybody could do, irrespective of what you have done, you could have done it either way, irrespective of your knowledge. So that was the first one. Now, second one was a question on a binary search on queries. So second question was something like, uh, you are given a vector of strings, okay? You are given an array, let us say let we are you're given an array of strings and you're given an array of queries. You're given array of queries. In each query, you are given index in the form of a string. So the index is like this. Sorry, the query is like this. You're given a query which is in this form, which means that you have to find how many strings have a starting letter and ending letter as vowel. How many strings have starting and ending letter as vowel in this range? For each query, you have to store answer in a vector and then you have to finally return that vector. I hope I made sense to you. You are given an uh, array of strings and are given an array of queries. Each query is of this form. It is a string. A query itself is a string wherein you are given two limits, the upper limit L, lower limit L. And you have to find for each query how many vowels that lie in this interval such that the starting, sorry, how many strings Sorry, how many strings lie in this interval such that the starting character and ending character of all those strings are vowels. Vowels are small case characters, A, E, I, O, U. Only small case characters were allowed. So this is a question on lower bound, upper bound. But the uh, you know implementation part was uh, you had to find out the integer part, the integer uh, index because the query is given as a string, right? You don't know what is L and what is R. You just know that the query is of this form. For example, the query can be like this, one, two, three. 
but this is a string. We have to get the value of L, get the value of R, <coughs> and then we have to do upper bound, lower bound, and store the answer in a vector. For each query, you have to do that and return the vector, the answer vector. So this was a lengthy question for C++ users. For C++ users, it's very lengthy. But if you are doing in Python, it is very simple. It is like two lines of code. I did it with C++. It was quite lengthy for me. I did not know how to do it in Python. I did it in C++ only. So I answered both the coding questions. And the other part was MCQs. There were 10 MCQs, topics like OOPS, DBMS, networking, basics of programming, all these were asked. A question was asked, what is the return type of malloc? The answer is void star. So certain things were asked. There, were also, there was also a question on SQL equijoin. <coughs> and uh, from basics of programming, there was a question on pointers which was kind of tricky. And oops, there was question on constructor, destructor, and uh, even uh, object initialization. Networking, I didn't know. I didn't know anything in networking. So I left that. Out of 10 MCQs, I think I got six or seven correct. And both the coding questions I got correct only. And all the test cases were accepted. But ultimately, I was not shortlisted. Only people from CS and uh, Info information science, they were allowed to go to next round and I was not shortlisted. So it's okay, I will keep trying and I hope this video helped you. It will, I hope it would have given you some insight. The coding questions were easy only. Just practice on your data structures, algorithm, binary search, all these basic techniques, if you know, you can do it easily. This coding round was easy only. So I just wanted to share this with you. Please share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. It will give me a lot of motivation. So thank you for watching and I shall be back with one more. I shall be sharing with you my um, internship tests which I did not get selected. And hopefully one day I will get selected and I'll share that also with you. So thank you for watching. Bye.